So I know a lot of you feel like what women want is men with money, right? <laughs> like money is the number one thing that opens the doors. And listen, mo money definitely plays a role. Money definitely has some impact, but it, there's so much more than that. And, and the reality is that your physical appearance, your physical presentation is going to impact your ability to attract women and to attract the woman that you desire to be with. And so as a man, we have to be mindful of how we can tap into our more attractive selves. Because listen, I believe that everyone has the power to become more attractive. Granted, some people may have it easier than others. They have some natural gifts, but everyone can enhance themselves in great ways that would allow themselves to be more attractive to the opposite sex, all right? And so I'm gonna give you some things that you can start to implement right away. But here's, I'm gonna start off with a bonus, okay? So this is the bonus one. And a bonus thing that will make yourself more physically attractive to women is skincare. Skincare and, and, and overall how you take care of yourself. So skincare may seem like not a big deal and not something that plays a huge role in your attractiveness, but it does. Women pay attention to everything. They're looking at your teeth, they're looking at your skin, they're looking at various things that we're gonna mention later on in this video. And so you wanna make sure you're covering all bases, but also understand that when you take care of your skin, because the skin is the largest organ on the body, you are enhancing your ability to be healthier overall, to feel good about yourself, and, to, and then again, to tap into that higher level of attractiveness. And so I have a great tool for you, and this is why I'm so glad that Teej Hanley is the sponsor of today's video. Because Teej Hanley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin, and they provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Like seriously, I don't think some of you Believe me when I tell you how much implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life. So skincare wasn't always something that I personally took seriously, but now that I have, I really wish I would have sooner. But you don't have to just take my word for it because when you tap into Teach Hanley, they have over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click the link and get started today. So do not overlook the need to take better care of your skin. But like I said, that was just one little bonus I wanted to throw at you. Let's get to some of the other ways that you can make yourself more attractive to women. So next on the list is finding your, the style that works for you. And we're talking about clothes. So here's the thing. I can say even as a man, I, I, when I'm walking around, I see other men. The way that man dresses says something about him, all right? I see a lot of men who dress sloppy, wear clothes that are not well fitting on them and, and that can present a certain image about you, okay? Not wearing things that really help bring out or accentuate their positives and show them in a certain light. Like one example is, you know, if you're, you as a man start to dress more successfully, like I have a friend who would wear blazers everywhere he goes. And I'm not saying you need to do that, but that was his thing. That was his style that he tapped into and he said, he could see immediately a difference in how people received them because he looked successful. And when you look successful, more people wanna to talk to you, more people wanna associate with you. That's just one example. But it's, it's not, it doesn't just stop there. It's just in other aspects, finding out what clothes, what even colors look good on you. Now, the, one of the easiest ways to do this, if you have this, if this is a tool at your disposal, 
is getting the opinion of a woman or other women about what looks good on you. One of the mistakes I see men make is they get, they, they get some ideas from online or they get even the perspective of other men, but if you're trying to attract women, hear it through their perspective. Hear it, let them see it through their lens and tell you what looks good. And listen, I'm not saying you have to automatically go with it, but I can tell you personally when I have used that method and implemented it, it has always worked, like every single time. Even like, let's say shirts or outfits that I thought wasn't really all that great, I did it, went out and got an amazing response, amazing feedback. So I know some of you may not have a female friend, may not have a female family member that you can go to. If that's the case, okay, fine. You know, Jen, you, you work with what you have, but if you have that, those people around you, definitely get her opinion because it can go a long way to opening your eyes up to what actually looks good on you. And what I find is this, there are gonna be some things that people suggest that maybe you're just not comfortable with in, and you shouldn't wear those things because if you're not comfortable in it, you won't be confident, you won't feel good, it defeats the purpose. But there'll be certain things that you may be highly skeptical of. I encourage you to try it anyway because once you try it, it looks good on you and you're getting that feedback, you will magically start to be more comfortable in that kind of uh, clothing. So give some things a try, see what happens, but definitely consider the opinion of other women. Let's keep this going. Next thing that can make you more physically attractive to women is getting in the gym. All right, plain and simple, muscles matter. All right, and, and, and muscles work. Now, when I say muscles, I don't mean you need to become some big steroid looking bodybuilder. I'm not saying you have to go, you know, to those levels or extremes with your muscle building. For a lot of guys, a lot of women don't really want a really bulky guy. They like kind of a lean, muscular look. But again, it's not simply about what the woman likes. It's about what you like, what you'll be happy in, what you'll feel confident in. But you can go on various ends of, of the spectrum and still see great results by simply getting yourself in better shape. Now, it's not just the fact that you will physically become more attractive, but you will start to boost your testosterone you will start to be more confident. You will start to carry yourself in a way that gives off an energy that attracts more women, all right? You will start to exude more masculine energy and that in itself will make you more attractive. You will be able to improve your posture, all right? And that will make, so it, it, there's a lot that comes from getting yourself in that gym. Now, here's another thing to consider and I haven't done enough research on this, but I came across this and I'm just gonna throw it out there to you. There was a guy who had a TikTok where he mentioned they had a bunch of men run on the treadmill and, and sweat in this uh, shirt. Then they took the shirts and gave women the shirts to smell and they said, which men are you more attracted to? And they said at the end of it, the, the, guy who got picked the, the guys who got picked the most actually had stronger immune systems. And I guess that can be uh, seen through the, analyzed through the sweat or whatever the case may be. So what that said is that a healthier man is going to be a more attractive man to a woman. And from my understanding, it's biological, it's due to reproduction and mating. So as a man, hitting the gym isn't, don't make it just about muscle building. Make it about health. Make it about making sure you're in a better place. So in addition to that muscle building or to those workouts, it's eating better. You know what I'm saying? It's getting enough, getting enough sleep. It's making sure you're hydrated. Do all the things that go along with it because now you have a world where men are jumping straight to testosterone therapy, uh, testosterone therapy replacement, testosterone replacement therapy. I wanted to make sure I said it right. And getting injections or even jumping to steroids. And, and yes, that may help them with better muscle building and, and of course better testosterone, but it doesn't necessarily improve their overall health because they're overlooking the other areas that they may be lacking in or have deficiencies in that need to be improved upon. So take a holistic approach to in improving your overall health, but yes, hitting that gym will make a difference. All right, let's keep this going. And next up on the list of ways to make yourself more physically attractive to women is wearing cologne. 
all right? So the power of smell is something serious. And when you smell good as a person or as a man, you make yourself like a little bit cuter to every woman. Like, it, not every woman maybe, but a lot of women will be more drawn to you when you smell good. And a lot of men do not utilize colognes. Now, it's not simply about going online and grabbing the popular cologne right now or what someone else tells you to wear. It's about taking the time to figure out what works with you, what works well with your body chemistry. So if you're gonna go to the mall or wherever to buy cologne, which I would suggest that would be better for you to do than just ordering it online. Because that way, at the store, you can try different ones on, you can see which one actually sticks with you, smells good on you, but again, I really encourage you to not simply go off of your perspective. If you have a female friend or family member that you can take with you, take them, all right? Let them give you their insight on what they see is, or what they, what they smell, smells best on you. And so that's gonna be very helpful because again, a lot of guys just go off of what they think they should get or the hot cologne. And there's a cologne, like I'll, uh, one cologne out there that's pop, I don't know if it's still popular, but at one time it was Sauvage, right? And I got it, or somebody actually got it for me because it, it was the new hot thing. Man, it, one, it did not last on me at all. It did not smell as good on me for some reason. And I think I had like a slightly allergic reaction. Like I, I felt more itchy when I wore it. Now it isn't, maybe it was a bad batch. I don't know, but I stopped wearing it. I found a different cologne. I'm not gonna say what it is right now. I, I might be a little gatekeeping for a moment, but all I'm gonna say is this cologne is like, perfect on me. It's amazing. It lasts. I get compliments left and right. But again, it's not about wearing what smells good on someone else. It's about finding what works for you. So do your due diligence because once you find it and you start to implement it, it will definitely help in your physical attraction to women. All right. So we got a couple more things on the list. And again, there's always, I'm always mentioning a few things. There's always some other things we can talk about, but the next thing I want to mention, and this is, this will make you more physically attractive, but this, again, this is, this is easier said than done for many of you. And that is hanging out with attractive women. So here's what I mean by that. What I have found is that, and I'm sure you've heard it from others as well. If you go out with attractive women, women start to be more attractive, to find you more attractive. They, and, and again, understand that physical attraction for a woman or attraction for a woman can go beyond the physical, all right? So even though we're focusing on physical, there's other aspects that can make you more attractive in their eyes. And you being around other attractive women makes you look more desirable. Therefore, it makes you by default look, become more attractive. This is why I think when some people say you don't need female friends, I don't think that's great advice because there's a lot of good pros to having female friends. I do think you have to be mindful of the, the, the structure in which you place it in. I think you have to be mindful of the boundaries and the, there's, there's things to consider, but there's a lot of good that can come from it. So yes, I do think when you can have other attractive women that you can hang out with, go out to dinner with, especially if it's a group of female friends, it's going to be very helpful for you. Now, again, you, you have, still have to do your part with the other things we're talking about, how you dress. And if you, if you have access to female friends to hang out with, those are the perfect people to get their opinions on the cologne, on the style, all these different things. But yes, this can be very, very beneficial, all right? So be mindful of that and, and just, I think you should be open to female friendships when it's done correctly. And I think that's another topic that we'll have to do a whole separate video about. And last but not least, uh, something you can do to become more attractive to women is just be well-groomed. And I really wanna focus in on haircuts, okay? I know many of you have seen, if not all of you, those videos online on TikTok where a man walks in the, the barbershop looking one way and his whole life is changed by the end of the haircut, all right? Haircuts are powerful. 
And we all know when you get that fresh cut, you feel good, you feel confident. It really helps you exude a greater energy. And despite these facts, a lot of men do not keep up with getting a haircut, with being well-groomed, if you have a beard, making the, having the beard look nice. Now again, I'm not saying you have to be perfect with it, right? But I do think trying to create a consistent routine where you, that you can afford is going to be beneficial to you. Now, for those of you who say, but I cannot afford today's prices when it comes to haircuts, I have two suggestions for you. One, if you have a good male uh, group of friends, male, I think, I think guys should like sit down and figure out who's gonna be the barber of the group. <laughs> like That would be a great thing to, to create within the friend group that he can give the guys the haircut. Now, it doesn't mean he has to cut all of y'all for free and he gets nothing for his time. You, sh you should make sure your friend is well taken care of if he's taking care of y'all. So whether it's money or in other ways you guys pour into each other or have a trade-off, that'll be great. Now, if you don't have access to a friend group or nobody wants to be the barber in the friend group, I do think at the very least, buying yourself a, a liner, uh, I think that's what they call it, a liner or something, a shaver, that you can line up your hair on your own at least Again, like when I line up my hair, I'm not lining up the back or whatever. I, that's too much for me. But I can at least do the front and at least touch it up until I'm able to get a full haircut, a, a professional lineup, professional cut. That at least helps, especially if you have a beard. You, you, again, just learning how to do those little touch-ups for yourself can be helpful. And so you just have to invest in buying a, a razor or whatever liner one time and you're good for a good minute. But one way or another, keep that haircut coming because it will definitely make a difference. And I just wanna add this, ultimately, just take overall better care of yourself. I mentioned it earlier when I said, don't make going to the gym just about building muscle, make it about improving your overall health. And I just wanna reiterate that that's so important. Make sure you are reducing stress in your life as much as possible. Make sure you are keeping yourself hydrated. Make sure you are getting enough rest and sleep, all right? These things are going to help you show up in life with greater energy, with greater power, exuding more masculine energy, and all of those things will make you more attractive to women. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Someone can think you're a decent looking guy, or even a good looking guy, but not be attracted to you, not be drawn to you, that, that sexual desire is not there with you. And it's, an, it's understandable.